For decades, Mars has held humanity's imagination as the most Earth-like planet in the solar system. In recent years, as rovers such as Curiosity and Perseverance have traversed its barren deserts and rocky cliffs, something even more intriguing has come to light. Beyond the expected geology and dust storms, countless strange anomalies have been captured in photographs, sparking the belief that something may be happening on the Red Planet. These images, drawn from multiple rover missions and satellites, reveal objects and formations that cannot easily be explained away by natural processes. One of the most striking mysteries involves what appear to be skeletal remains. Several photographs, transmitted back to Earth, display formations in the dust and rock that bear uncanny resemblance to bones. Some of these shapes look so distinctly organic that people have speculated they could be remnants of life long gone. The possibility that Mars once supported living creatures has always been a scientific question, but to see what appears like skeletons scattered across its deserts lends an eerie reality to that possibility. In one widely shared image, the shape of a humanoid skull lies partially buried, its features too detailed to be dismissed as random erosion. Other images show full structures resembling rib cages or long bones, raising questions about whether Mars once hosted complex organisms. In addition to these supposed remains, other anomalies show artificial-looking structures. Images reveal formations with sharp edges, symmetrical carvings, and patterns inconsistent with random geology. One example depicts what looks like the outline of a craft, half buried in Martian sand, its smooth and curved form standing out against the natural terrain. Another shows linear patterns and what appears to be a staircase cut into the rock, almost as if remnants of a forgotten civilization. These artificial-looking anomalies fuel speculation that Mars was once inhabited by intelligent beings capable of shaping their environment, only to have their legacy erased by time. Some of the anomalies defy expectations even further. A few images suggest the presence of small living creatures. While Mars is thought to be inhospitable today, rovers have captured curious shapes moving along ridges. One famous image even appears to show a rodent-like animal crouched among the rocks. Others highlight strange objects casting shadows as though something more dynamic than still geology is being observed. The combination of skeletal shapes, artificial structures and supposed living forms suggests that the Martian surface is far from static. Beyond bones and creatures, some anomalies resemble technological remnants. Circular disks with perfect symmetry, fragments resembling machinery and shapes evocative of pipes or panels have been identified in rover images. In one case, a photograph revealed what appeared to be a broken-down spacecraft lodged in the dust. Its proportions, ridges and metallic-like reflection have led many to suggest it was once airborne before crashing to the surface. The appearance of these shapes, so unlike natural stone, has kept researchers and enthusiasts debating for years. Scientists officially describe many of these phenomena as the human tendency to find familiar shapes in random forms. Yet the sheer number and variety of anomalies raises deeper questions. Why are so many objects captured with clear, defined features resembling those of Earth's life or technology? Why do skeletal-like remains appear in multiple regions? And why do artificial-looking structures consistently show up near cliffs and craters? Each photograph adds to the mystery, leaving unanswered whether these are coincidences of geology or clues to a forgotten Martian story. What makes these anomalies even more compelling is their location. Many have been spotted near ancient riverbeds, dried lake beds and crater rims, the very places where scientists suspect Mars once had stable environments for life. If water once flowed on Mars for millions of years, it is entirely plausible that life, perhaps even intelligent life, flourished there before the planet lost its atmosphere. The anomalies captured today could therefore be the remnants of that lost age, preserved under dust until uncovered by wind or rover wheels. In 2014, a remarkable discovery was made while examining photographs taken by NASA's Curiosity rover on Mars. UFO researchers spotted a cigar-shaped object hovering above the Martian surface, an anomaly that has since sparked widespread speculation and intrigue. The images, captured by Curiosity's right-hand navigation camera on May 4th, show what appears to be a long, cylindrical white object suspended in the Martian sky for approximately 16 minutes. This unusual sighting has led many to question whether extraterrestrial activity is being observed around Mars, 
and whether NASA is withholding crucial information about the presence of unknown objects orbiting the red planet. Curiosity has been actively exploring the Gale Crater on Mars since 2012, capturing thousands of raw images as part of its mission to study the planet's surface, atmosphere, and geological history. These images are sent back to Earth for analysis, providing scientists and independent researchers alike with an opportunity to examine every aspect of the Martian environment. It was during one of these routine examinations that UFO enthusiasts noticed something unusual, a sleek, elongated object hovering in the sky, unlike anything previously observed on Mars. The shape and appearance of the object immediately caught the attention of researchers. Unlike the usual debris, dust particles or camera anomalies that can sometimes appear in space imagery, this object exhibited characteristics that suggested it was something far more structured and deliberate. The cylindrical shape has been widely reported in past UFO sightings, particularly those involving so-called cigar-shaped UFOs, which have been observed on Earth for decades. The fact that an object with similar features has now been captured hovering over Mars raises profound questions about the possibility of extraterrestrial activity in the Martian orbit. Perhaps the most compelling aspect of this sighting is that the object remained in the air for 16 minutes. If this were merely an artifact of the camera, an issue with light exposure or an optical illusion, it would not have persisted for such a significant length of time. Additionally, Given Mars's thin atmosphere and lack of strong winds capable of suspending objects in mid-air, the possibility that this was some form of natural debris seems highly unlikely. Researchers argue that the object's presence, position and duration suggest deliberate movement or control, rather than an uncontrolled environmental phenomenon. This sighting is not the first time cigar-shaped UFOs have been linked to space exploration. If the object seen in Curiosity's 2014 images is indeed an advanced craft, it raises several critical questions. Why was it hovering over Mars? Was it observing the rover, or did it have a separate mission on the planet? Some researchers speculate that Mars, being one of the most Earth-like planets in our solar system, could be of interest to extraterrestrial visitors. If intelligent life exists elsewhere, it would make sense for them to monitor planets that hold potential for life or future colonization. The idea that we are not alone in exploring Mars is both exciting and unsettling. NASA has remained silent on the issue, providing no clear explanation for the anomaly. The Space Agency has a long history of dismissing UFO-related findings, often attributing them to camera glitches, reflections, or natural phenomena. However, given the object's clear shape, prolonged presence and structured appearance, these conventional explanations fall short. The lack of an official statement has only fueled speculation that NASA is withholding evidence of extraterrestrial encounters. Some argue that the object could be space debris or a speck of dust on the camera lens, but these explanations fail to account for the sustained appearance of the object for over 16 minutes. If it were dust or a photographic artifact, it would likely appear in only one frame or change position erratically. Instead, the cigar-shaped UFO remained consistently in view behaving in a way that suggests it was a physical object hovering in Martian airspace. Another interesting aspect of this sighting is the possibility that extraterrestrial beings are already observing Mars. Some theorists propose that intelligent civilizations might have been monitoring our space missions for decades, ensuring that human activity in space does not interfere with their own operations. If this were the case, the presence of the cylindrical UFO near Curiosity would make perfect sense, it could be a probe or a reconnaissance craft sent to observe the rover's activities. The discovery of this object also aligns with previous UFO sightings around Mars, as well as claims made by former NASA employees and astronauts who have hinted at strange encounters in space. Over the years, multiple images from various Mars missions have depicted unexplained lights, hovering objects and even structures on the Martian surface. While NASA typically ignores or downplays these findings, the sheer volume of anomalies suggests that there is far more happening on Mars than we are being told. With new Mars missions and advanced imaging technology on the horizon, researchers are hopeful that even more evidence will emerge in the coming years. Space agencies such as NASA, ESA and SpaceX continue to send rovers and probes to the Red Planet, increasing the likelihood that another unexplained craft could be caught on camera. If intelligent extraterrestrial beings are indeed monitoring Mars, 
the possibility of a future encounter or more direct evidence grows stronger. The 2014 cigar-shaped UFO sighting near Mars remains one of the most compelling pieces of evidence for extraterrestrial activity beyond Earth. Its structured appearance, prolonged duration, and similarity to other known UFOs make it difficult to dismiss. Whether this was an alien craft, an unknown space vehicle, or something beyond human comprehension, one thing is clear. Mars continues to be a hotspot for mysteries that defy explanation. As more images and data from Mars missions continue to surface, the world may soon be forced to confront the reality that we are not alone and we may have never been alone to begin with. Oddly enough, this isn't the first time that a strange object has been seen close to Mars. The Phobos II mission remains one of the most mysterious and controversial space explorations in history. Launched in July 1988, it was the second Soviet spacecraft sent to study Mars's mysterious moon, Phobos. The mission's primary objectives were to analyze the Martian atmosphere, surface and gravitational properties of Phobos, but what happened in March 1989 would overshadow the mission's scientific goals and leave one of the most perplexing UFO encounters in space exploration history. On March 27, 1989, just months before Phobos 2-2 lost contact with Earth, the spacecraft captured a series of astonishing images. Among them was an image that would become the subject of intense speculation and debate, a long cylindrical object hovering above the Martian surface. Unlike anything previously observed in space, this object had a smooth, structured appearance and cast a distinct shadow on the Martian terrain below. The shape, size and alignment of this shadow suggested that it was not a mere trick of light or a natural celestial formation. Instead, it appeared to be an actual, physical object. The presence of this cigar-shaped UFO immediately raised questions about what Phobos II had encountered. The object's elongated structure did not match any known asteroid or natural Martian geological formation. Unlike ordinary space debris or celestial bodies, which typically rotate or drift unpredictably, this object appeared to maintain a deliberate, controlled position. Some researchers have pointed out that the structure bore striking similarities to other cigar-shaped UFOs that have been reported throughout history, both on Earth and in space. The fact that an unmanned spacecraft orbiting Mars captured such an object only intensified the mystery. The most puzzling aspect of this encounter was what happened immediately after the photograph was taken. Shortly after transmitting these images back to mission control, Phobos II suddenly and inexplicably lost contact. The spacecraft was functioning properly up until this moment, leading to speculation that the encounter with the unidentified object may have played a role in its sudden disappearance. Some researchers suggest that Phobos II may have been deliberately disabled to prevent further transmission of images. Whether this was due to an external force or an unknown phenomenon remains a subject of debate. The Soviet Space Agency at the time provided no clear explanation for the loss of Phobos II. While technical failures are always a possibility in space missions, it is unusual for a spacecraft to suddenly go silent immediately after capturing an unexplained anomaly. This sequence of events led many to believe that the spacecraft may have been interfered with by an unknown intelligence. To this day, the exact cause of Phobos II's failure remains classified and unsolved. Adding to the intrigue, Russian scientists who were involved in the mission later hinted at the possibility of an external force being responsible for the failure. During a press conference, Soviet space officials acknowledged that something unusual had occurred but refrained from making definitive statements about what exactly caused the spacecraft to fail. Some reports even suggested that the images taken before the loss of contact were analyzed privately, raising suspicions that more information exists than has been publicly disclosed. One of the most striking aspects of this case is how it aligns with other UFO encounters in space. Over the years, astronauts from both NASA and the Soviet space program have reported seeing unidentified objects in orbit. Many of these objects share the same elongated, cylindrical shape seen in the Phobos II images. Some theorists propose that these objects are not random anomalies, but part of an ongoing extraterrestrial presence in space, monitoring human activities beyond Earth. Additionally, the location of this encounter is noteworthy. Phobos, the Martian moon that the spacecraft was sent to study, has been the subject of speculation for decades. Some scientists have suggested that Phobos itself may not be a natural moon, 
but rather a hollowed-out artificial structure. It exhibits strange orbital behaviors, and radar scans have hinted at unusual internal compositions. If there is any truth to the idea that Phobos is more than just a natural satellite, then the presence of an unidentified object near it becomes even more significant. Many researchers believe that the Phobos II incident is one of the most compelling pieces of evidence that we are not alone. The clear, structured shape of the object, the fact that it cast a distinct shadow, and the mysterious loss of the spacecraft immediately after taking the image all suggest that this was not a simple technical failure or natural occurrence. If Phobos II had merely malfunctioned due to mechanical issues, there would be no reason to associate its failure with the appearance of the cylindrical UFO. However, the timing of events and the peculiar nature of the object in the image make this one of the most unexplained encounters in space exploration. To this day, NASA and other space agencies have not officially commented on the Phobos II UFO images, nor have they provided any explanations that satisfy the questions raised by researchers. The lack of transparency surrounding this case has only fueled further suspicion. Was Phobos II's transmission intentionally disrupted to keep the world from seeing something we weren't meant to see? With modern space exploration technology improving, the possibility of future encounters with similar objects is very real. Private space agencies, such as SpaceX, are now launching their own missions to Mars, meaning that more eyes than ever before are watching the Martian surface. If there is indeed something out there, it is only a matter of time before more evidence surfaces. The Phobos II incident stands as a reminder that space is still a vast and largely unknown frontier. While scientific missions seek to uncover the secrets of the universe, there may be forces at play that we do not yet fully understand. The presence of an unidentified, structured object hovering near Mars, captured by a government spacecraft before its mysterious disappearance, is a story that demands further investigation. Until more answers emerge, the case of Phobos II and its final transmission remains one of the most intriguing UFO mysteries of all time. UFOs appearing in Mars images is not a new phenomenon. Over the years, NASA's rovers and orbiters have captured multiple anomalies that have sparked debate among researchers and UFO enthusiasts. The Curiosity rover, Perseverance, and older missions like Viking and Spirit have all recorded strange objects in the Martian sky that resemble classic UFO shapes, including orbs, disks, and cylindrical objects. These sightings have led many to believe that Mars is being actively observed by unknown entities. Despite NASA's dismissals, claiming these anomalies are dust particles, reflections, or image artifacts, the consistency of UFO sightings in Mars images raises serious questions. With private companies now exploring Mars, there is hope that future missions will provide undeniable proof of extraterrestrial presence on the Red Planet.